The First Lady of Lesotho, Maesaya Tabane, has appeared in court accused of killing the Prime Minister's second wife, Dibolelo Tabane. She was gunned down on the 14th of June 2017 in rural Hamasan. Dibulelo Tabane was driving on this road with her friend when she was met by a hail of bullets. The deputy police commissioner here says the first hit her arm, causing her to lose control of the car. Three bullets then pierced her head, taking her life. Her car came to a halt a few meters away from her home. Deputy Police Commissioner took over investigations at the beginning of the year after the department felt the previous investigators were too timid to take action. We have got a very strong uh, evidence which actually implicates the First Lady to the matter of Medipola and also other people that I mentioned. The police say the Prime Minister's phone was used to communicate with the assailants on the day of the murder and they have questioned Thomas Tabane over this. But he decided to receive some comments on it. And uh, he mentioned, among others, that uh, while <coughs> his phone is used not only by him, but as a politician and old man, the phone is used by some close relatives and members of his family. The Prime Minister's daughter, who was raised by his late wife when they got married, doesn't believe her father was involved in the murder. Body talk-wise, I've always said uh, that the tavern is as blank as they come. Um, but... Not, I, I don't have the same conviction for the first lady. The woman who was in the car with Tipulelo Tabane when she was gunned down has since fled Losutu fearing for her life. And advocate Mabotzoneng Shayela says she remains vigilant. I look at my side mirrors when I drive because she's capable. I lock the house. I have a camera system because I know what she's capable of. But I'm not afraid of her. It would give her too much power in my life.